Okay guys, let's talk about marrying a Thai woman and the dreaded dowry payment that you will all have to pay in one way or another. If you're thinking of marrying a Thai woman, yeah, or you're about to marry a Thai woman and um, you've been speaking about the dowry payment, um, I just want to give you guys a bit of an idea on what to expect. Now firstly, you need to answer uh, honestly to yourself, is this woman that I'm with totally out of my league? Is she 10 years, 20 years, 30 years younger than I am? Um, am I ugly and is she super beautiful? You need to answer honestly before you can understand what's gonna happen. Now to simplify this, to help people understand, if that woman is totally out of your league, expect to pay a massive dowry because she knows you're out of her league and the family knows that you're out of her league. So they're gonna literally extract as much money as they can out of you. And it might not be cash money, all of it. It might be gold, it might be buffaloes, depends on the um, whereabouts uh, the woman is from. Yeah, it could be land, it could be a house, it, it, it can be lots of, lots of things that really boil down to money, guys. A typical example is that if you watch 90 Day Fiance, if you remember the, the, the Thailand version, the David and Annie, and you watch that and you find out about the dowry, pay, dowry payment, um, that's the, a prime example of a younger woman, yeah, younger, younger woman, being with a, an old, overweight, like, uglyish, oh, well, let's be honest, ugly guy, yeah? That woman, Annie, extracted as much as she possibly could out of that guy, yeah? She wanted to get as much as, as she could out of that guy. Now, Annie's not the best looking of Thai women, and she, she knew that, she knows that, yeah? So she, she knew that she had this guy that was in love with her, that was following her, that was gonna take care of her. He might not been super rich, but he had money in his pocket, yeah? And that's what counts. If you've got money in your pocket, then I can extract that money from you. So she took him to the jewelry shop. She told him that he had to buy so many ounces of gold, yeah? Had to buy buffalo, had to pay a big dowry cash payment. And the parents, when they, when they seen this guy and they seen that it wasn't a match, the parents straight away, let's extract money out of this, out of this fat old guy um, as much as we can. If he wants to marry my daughter, we're gonna get, we're, we're gonna literally take him for everything that he's got. So if you're similar to uh, David and Annie, where literally, you know, you're totally out of the, out of the Thai woman's league, then prepare to be uh, extracted for as much as she can get her hands on, because that's what's gonna happen. Now, some foreigners accept that. They know that, they know, they know what I'm talking about, but they're not, they don't care. They just want a, a younger uh, girlfriend, wife, and they're happy to, to spend that money on what makes them happy and that's fair enough you know no problem happy life happy wife as long as you're happy you know do what you want the, but for the people that are unaware of this you know you've got to understand that if she is out of your league guys the, the it's going to cost you a lot of money to marry a thai woman she's going to get as much as she can if you're if you're one of the lucky ones and you match with the thai woman yeah she's not out of your league she's in the same league you know she could be a, a couple of tiers uh, up from your league or a couple of tiers below your league yeah but if you're near enough a match then don't expect to get super rinsed you know um you should be all right you should be okay i'll give you an example for me and me and my wife yeah um we we not do things for for show and stuff and we're not really that type we're not really that style you know and she knows that i understand everything um and i know um that she knows everything about you know everything about me uh that, that i'm educated and I, I understand we'll have to do that again guys so for example um my thai wife knows that i know like a lot of things about Thailand. I know how things work here, yeah? I know all the tricks and all the cons and all the scams and stuff and and she understands that, you know? So my my wife is uh, very level with me, you know? Um, hard to explain, but we're, we're on a level anyway. So when we got married, um, her family uh, donated gold, yeah? Uh, that they wanted back at the end of the wedding. So they give us gold to, to show off in front of all the other village people because everything's for show here in Thailand. It's a, it's a bit horrible, but it is what it is. So 
they donated uh, some like big gold chains and stuff like that. So during the wedding ceremony, I'd grab all of this gold as if I'd paid for it, put it around the neck, all the village people go, ooh, and all that, yeah. Uh, money, put money on the, on the plate when you do the wedding ceremony. Um, and the money, I, I already knew that it was gonna get given back to me. It was just for show, yeah? So you like give the money, the money goes towards the family, yeah? The family give it back. And the main reason why, why they give it back to us is because we're gonna need it, yeah? We're gonna need that money for our lives, yeah? We've got a baby and stuff, you know? Uh, she's also got uh, a son of her own. So we need that money to live. We need that money to, to make our own home and, and stuff and make our lives better. So that money was given back uh, because we needed it more. So, so for my dowry, guys, it didn't cost me anything, yeah? Um, I get, I'm lucky like, because I get treated like, like a Thai. I'm not a Thai, I'll never be accepted as a Thai. Uh, but because of my style and because of what I understand, nobody takes the mick out of me, you know? Um, everyone's pretty, pretty straight with me. But that means that I don't get all the airs and graces that other foreigners will get, you know? They're all bowing to you and all this kind of stuff. Nobody bows to me, yeah? Everybody just treats me like a Thai guy. They see me, you know, they'll say hello or they, or they won't say hello, they don't care. I'm just Dan the, the foreigner guy that, that knows his stuff, you know? And I like it that way. I don't want anybody treating me special. I'm not in Thailand to get treated special. I've not come over to Thailand um, to feel like a god or feel like a king or feel like I'm better than anybody else because I'm not. I've just chosen this simple life because this is what I enjoy, this is what I like. So yeah. Now guys, you know, not it's very rare for you for it not to cost you any money. You know, like I said, I, I was just lucky, but um, for most people, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna cost you something. Yeah, it, it shouldn't cost you hundreds of thousands of bar. It all depends on the Thai family as well, you know, how well off they are or how poor they are, what type of personalities they have, you know if they're ruthless or not, or if they're caring, or if they really love the daughter and stuff, you've got to really, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but you shouldn't be paying out hundreds of thousands of baht and spending loads of money on gold, gold to marry a Thai woman. And if you're having to do that, guys, it's not good, you know, I'd run away if I were you.